Oh, oh okay. So it changes to triple mounts. Yeah, that actually matters. <laughs> oh, but these are only six inch shells. I bet you that's what it is. I I can't read that. I don't know what that means. That. What's the CM? Uh. <laughs> Folks, Pat here. Welcome back. After a little break there, we are going to jump right back into We're on the Sea here. And I was working on um, doing an Operation Cartwheel, a continuation of our last game, but we have a new mod. <laughs> so I figured uh, I saw Wolfpack throw up a video on it today as soon as I saw it. And you guys didn't tell me about it. And I'm not on the Discord that often, so I had no idea it was even out there. But uh, I saw him playing. I was like, what is this? We got to try it out. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so junk that other episode, let's do this one. Uh, in order to do this one, the one thing that I do want to do is I want to show you how to actually install the mod. All right, and so what you're going to do is you're going to go on over to Steam. Um, and if you go community over here, or on the C, <coughs> and you want to go to the discussions here, here's all the mods, and this is all the stuff that you're going to need. You're going to need this one. Um, or no, wait, where are the mods? Mods, here we go. Click on that. <laughs> so, and then you're going to need three of these. You're going to need TTE, Tokyo Express. You're going to need the Pacific Campaign. This is the new one. And then Operation Magazine, uh, this one. And so this is as of, what is today, the 14th of August. And so um, it'll be up to date now, but um, in the future, just always come back here and check this stuff out. So go into each one of these, download the mod. Um, they're going to send you to either a Dropbox or um, uh, Google Drive or something like that. But just grab the mod. Uh, this one's quite lengthy. Let me see if I can find where it is. Out of features. Features are already in the game. Main mod, TTE. So, yeah, head on over here to Appbox and grab it. Now, if it's your first time doing it, make sure that you get JGSM or JSGME. Grab this guy. And this, okay, those are the two things that you need. You're going to need this to do the mod, to enable all the mods. Uh, there's other ways to do it. I'm not smart enough to know how to do it that way. So <laughs> this way seems to work. And so make sure you grab that and the mod. And then the same thing's true with both uh, OM and uh, the new Pacific campaigns. So grab all the files. Um, so here we go. Once you grab the files... And I've got them stuffed here because some of them are quite beefy and take a little while to download. So you're going to actually go into wherever you have your game. All right. So now mine is on my D drive under games. And usually just look for the Steam apps folder. So that's if you're playing the Steam version, which I know you are. So um, use that and then common here and then war on the sea should be in there and that's the folder that you're looking for click on that one i've already got jsgme stuffed in here but that's where you want to download that one too and then once you have that in this folder where it's steam apps common war on the sea jgsme go ahead and click on that it'll fire up and it'll say it'll ask you a question just say yes and there we go we're back now and so I've got this little thing right here that says, welcome to blah, 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 because um, I just cleaned this all out. And so um, by default, JSGME looks for mods stored in a folder called mods. So just click OK here. OK. And it's going to create a new folder in there called mods. OK. Now notice we don't have any mods available. So just X out of this. <coughs> and notice right here we do have mods. OK. That's where you're going to want to put all these guys. OK. And let me show you how to do that. So TTE and sub mods, when you download it, it looks like this. Click on this again, and you get this A, B, C, D, E, and F. Just click up here, shift click down here. You're going to grab all of these, copy them, and paste them right into the mods folder over here. So bam, just paste. It'll take a sec because there's a lot. This is the biggest one. Um, and the, the order of these matters. So you have to install TTE first. Um, well, not the copying part. You'll see what I mean in just a sec. So, but then once you got those in there, let's go ahead and open up OM. And so it has mods. So you got two mods in here, base OM mod and all ships and campaign. Grab those two, copy, and then paste into the exact same spot that you had them before. All right. And Pacific campaign. You don't have to do any of that. You just grab the folder itself. All right. Here, Pacific campaign and just dump it in there and it'll work. All right, or you, I guess you could just drag it from your desktop too. That's fine. 
So, but anyway, once we're in there, go back to where War on the Sea is, where JG or JSGME is. Click on that. Click on yes. And now you notice we got all the mods in here. Okay. <clears throat> so if you have to clean all those out and start over again, it's worth it. So just make sure that you actually do have it cleaned out before you actually start loading these in. Because um, otherwise it gets really confused and you'll get a lot of crashes, <laughs> so which I've been struggling with. So I've kind of got to figure it out now. So, but anyway, you have to install these in the right order. So the first one that you want to do is this one here, TTE main mod. So click on that and then click on this arrow over and you'll get the little bar right here, progress bar. And that's enabling that mod. You got to do that one first. And then you're going to do OM. Okay, so you can do the base mod or OM all ships in campaign. And so that unlocks all the ships right off the bat, if I'm not mistaken. We'll try and keep it somewhat historical. And so the next one you want to do is OM. Click on that, and you'll get these error messages here. Just click yes. It's okay. And then base OM is in there. All right. So the next one is Pacific Campaign. So click on that, and then... It'll give you the same error message, so it'll say, no, no, are you sure you want to do that? And you're like, yes, I absolutely positively want to do that. And so click yes. And there we go. All right, they're all in. So uh, feel free to play around with any of these others. Um, the only one that I wanted was um, 24 planes. So that way we can fly slightly larger squadrons, but they're not like unholy 100 plane waves, <laughs> which is what you get with the all planes mod. Um, I don't see where the um, uh, the Jake Scout one is, so maybe that one's not in here anymore. I could have sworn there was another one called L, or it might have been K, it might be this one, but I'm not going to actually, I'm only going to do this one, and then we'll add another one later if we have to, but hopefully we don't get Jake Spam all over the place. So anyway, close, all right, and so now you have a new config file here for JSGME, don't delete that, <laughs> so you need it, and then close that out, and now we can fire up more on the C and take a look at the all the new things so <clears throat> and there are quite a few new things so, so let's hop in there and check it out uh and hopefully it doesn't crash oh hey look at that first try <laughs> so it's not been like that all day today so but anyway so we got a brand new screen here so i did like the uh the tokyo express one this one's this one's pretty cool too though but there are two new campaigns in here war in the pacific and rising sun um, the other thing that's kind of interesting, if you guys do want to see a little bit of stuff from the previous campaign, um, all my saves are still in here, and they do work, which is weird, all right? That did not happen last time, so hats off to all these guys. They've actually built a pretty cool mod here, so at least one that hasn't broken on me yet. So anyway, but we don't want to do that. We want to actually do uh, one of these two campaigns, uh, but first, let's go take a look at all the, the new goodies in the game here. Because I have not looked at uh, OM in the past, and my audio is not working. Ah, lame sauce. Well, it's working for you, just not for me. I think my earbuds are bad. <laughs> there we go. Never mind. <laughs> just had to move. So, but anyway, let's uh, take a look and see what we got. Tambers, Gatos, Baleo, Tench. I don't think any of these are different. Uh, subs, subs. These guys are all in the game before. Let's see if we got anything new. Leaves Fletcher. Oh, you're new. Got a little escort destroyer here. Check you out. Huh. These probably didn't show up until a little bit later in the war. Yeah, these are all, they're going to be all decked out with, uh, George, you know what these are. Yeah, these are, these are dangerous for some reason. <laughs> So, and that's about a little sub chaser. So, okay, cool. Uh, I can't imagine spending too much money on those. At least not in the beginning. Oh man, we got tons of these. Bunch of new assets. Let's see what else. John C. Butler. And here we go, back to where we were before Omaha. Uh, St. Louis, you're new. St. Louis class cruiser was not uh, in the previous game. So, St. Louis and Helena. So, these, man, that's a great looking model. It's almost perfect. These are actually available at the beginning of the war. So we might snag one of these if we play as Americans, which we're going to do now that I think about it. <coughs> so, uh, let's see, good old Atlanta. I don't know, maybe we'll play as the Japanese. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll see, Cleveland's, Pensacola. What else we got in here? Ireland's, 
about Baltimore, Alaska. Okay, this one's definitely new. The ship without a purpose. <laughs> it's a pretty little ship. So, not so little, but odd. So, this thing had 12 inch guns on it, making it one of the few ships in the America. I think it was the only one in the U.S. Navy at the time. Except for maybe some of the training ships or something. I don't know. But it was kind of weird. So, but there were two of these. Yep, yeah, Alaska and Guam, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Alaska and Guam. Uh, we wouldn't see these until 19, late 1943, so we probably won't see them. Uh, Tennessee. So, got our old friend back. New Mex. Pennsylvania. There's two Pennsylvanias in here for some reason. Oh, 1942. This is after a refit. She doesn't look any different, though. She's skinned differently, though. This one's got the red. This one, not so much. Oh, huh. all right. What else? Colorado standard and upgraded. I was kind of curious if somebody was going to actually mod this. So, because Colorado early in the war looked like this, and then almost all of them got pulled into dock in '42 and '43 because there was Colorado, Maryland, West Virginia. West Virginia, of course, they had to pull out of the mud. The Colorado and Maryland spooked around for a while, but then when they were redoing her sister, they're like, "Ah, just bring them all back in so we can do the same thing," and they all came out. Looking like that, <laughs> which is quite a bit different. <laughs> so, but and notice, like, different than Tennessee. So, we don't have as many guns, but these are actually 16 inch guns on these things. Well, the, you guys who play World Warships, you know that stuff. So, but these are they're a little bit beefier, but not quite as many guns. So, that's okay. We're gonna just use them to shell people anyway. <laughs> North Carolina, South Dakota, Iowa is back in town. So, there you guys go. We won't see them till 43. This is after the bridge modification, so that's okay. We probably won't get to them. It's too too late in the war. Uh, let alone this beast, the Montana, the ship that was never built. Her and her sisters. So he had Ohio, Maine, New Hampshire, Louisiana. I think Montana and Ohio were actually laid down. Maine might have been laid down too, but they never finished them. They totally, yeah, didn't need them. <laughs> and they knew it. So they said, we need more carriers. So... We won't see these. Uh, what else? Yeah, definitely not this one, Illinois. This is a. Um, um, we got we got Illinois and Kentucky here, so it's Iowa class, but mounted with 18-inch uh, guns. So and they weren't going to do that either. So they talked about it a little bit, but you know they started getting wise after a little while. It's like you know we have these things called airplanes, and we have these ships that carry airplanes, and we need more of those <laughs> than we do of these. <laughs> so let's build them instead. <laughs> uh, oh, let alone this monstrosity. So, Kearsarge. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that one. So let's go check out actual carriers, shall we? <laughs> so, I can't believe that's in the game. <laughs> this is somebody's pet project, man. <laughs> so whatever. All right, Lex. We got Lex again. Uh, two versions of Lex. This is Sarah. Later on, actually, you know what, Lex. Yeah, this is after they pulled all the 8-inch guns, and then they put 5-inch mounts on Saratoga. So this would be Saratoga right here, closed bound. Or actually, no, I think they both did have that. Yeah, they did. <coughs> so if we start in 1942, early 1942, we might get one of these. So Yorktown, good old favorites, Wasp, Essex, here we go. Ooh, nice paint job. So on there. Yeah, we won't see these either, not until 1943. The new base game, uh, the latest update actually put this back into the game, or put this into the game, so. Um, but again, if you're playing Guadalcanal until late 1943, then yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure some of them were in the area. This is a great model, though, whoever did this. So, excellent job. It's perfect. Um, what do I, late? What's the difference between the early and the late? Oh, we got another elevator? No? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not that... I'm not that disturbing. So, maybe it changes up here or something. Whatever. And then the Bogue. Uh, we won't be using those. So, they're too slow. But, maybe we have... Yes! We have Independence. This is exactly what I wanted to see in the game. So, 14,000 tons. 31 knots. So, these are little small carriers that can keep up. 
with the fleet, and I, I will definitely be buying some of these. So, in fact, yes, I'm going to play as the Americans now. Because <laughs> we want to build a carrier fleet with a couple of these in it. So, oh, that'll be fun. So, they won't show up until late 42, if I'm not mistaken. Casablanca, same thing as the Bogue, just a little bit bigger. Um, also equally useless, uh, but we can use them to escort. So, my guess is that we're actually going to have to do a lot of a lot of merchy work in this one. What else we got? And then we've got all our merchies. So the Macaulay looks like looks like these aren't the Allied designations. They're actually going to do it by ship name. That's okay. We know what they all are now, though. So Arcturus, yeah. I don't know which one is which. C two and C three. That's the base one in the game. Oh, look at this guy. Just loaded with landing craft. So, and see, I do... Okay, so I do have beef with this. So this is the one thing that I don't like about this game, is that you get unlimited numbers of these ships. These ships were actually exceptionally rare. And so they were very, 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 very high-value targets if you're the Japanese. Well, that... I mean, they've just... Oh, it's just merchant ship. Let it go. But had they known that, like, these attack transports, the U.S. only had, like, five of them <laughs> for several years. So they, would, they might have thought about that a little bit harder. So, and the same thing with, like, tankers. So here we go. We got Cimarron at zero, so we have unlimited of these. I think, I think, I think there were four of these until 1943. So that's actually a very big deal. So, uh, but that's okay. Um, like I said, that's, that's my pet peeve. Um... But that's all right. It'll be okay. Let's see what the Japanese have, shall we? Oh, we gotta check out Commonwealth here. I don't know. I think all of the ships that I expected, maybe Crown. No, that was in the previous game. We saw those before. And same with the Town. Yeah, Town class. We saw those in County class. So wait a minute. This is in County class. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, the derp. Sorry, my bad. And then these guys. <laughs> so, here we go. We'll get Malaya. <laughs> this is the, the ship that gets no love ever. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> so, we're not going to spend money on that. So, anyway, all right, let's check out the Japanese. What do we got here? Good old France. Type A, Type B, Type B Mod 1, Type C, the little one. Saw a couple of those. Last campaign. Ooh. Ooh, nice. The I 400. Big boss. Interesting. Yeah, notice there weren't very many of them. Very late war. Or mid to late war. Cool. Uh, let's see. Momi, we've seen you. Minikaze. We've seen all of you guys. Kamikaze. Ubuki. Yep, seen all of you guys. Um, Anything new here? Shimikaze? No, we've seen those. It's kind of nice. Nice and dangerous. Fortunately, late war. Tenryu, Kuma, Nagara, Sendai, Yubari. These are all in the previous game. Here's a Kitakami. Very, very dangerous. So, fortunately, there's only two of them. So, I got them. Yep. So, these are all in the previous game. Um, same thing with the carriers. Furutaka, Yoba, Ka, Mogami. Mogami pre refit. So we've got two different versions of that. Probably the same model in game though. Oh no, no they're not. What changes? What changes here? Oh, oh okay. So it changes to triple mounts. Yeah, that actually matters. <laughs> oh, but these are only six inch shells. I bet you that's what it is. I I can't read that. I don't know what that means. That. What's the CM? Uh, I'm guessing it's six inch shells. So, because the other one is 20, 20 cm, whatever that is. <laughs> so, some, some kind of gibberish from not America. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just giving you guys a hard time. <laughs> so, what else have we got? Uh, tone. Bite me. <laughs> Congo. Uh,. Fuso. Looks like we're back to the old Fuso model. Um, <clears throat> this is the one that was in TTE before um, they actually added her into the game. It's a good model. So it's like the Issei. Very detailed. Very good. 
Excellent. Good to see that one back. Nagato? Oh, same thing. You got the more detailed model on this one, too. So, I always thought this was a really pretty ship. So, unlike this big, back, big ugly beast. So, that's alright. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of them and do something about that. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. You can even put all the little guns on it. We'll still sink you. <laughs> what is this? Okay. I'm not familiar with you. He's in Sagami, huh? Must have been something that was on the drawing board. Um, I bet you it's got 18 inch guns on it, doesn't it? Sure. Oh, we're going to call it 18 inches. <laughs> so, with 6 inch secondaries. Cool. So it's got a lot of guns on it. How heavy is it? How heavy are you? Um, 58,000 tons now. You're not heavier than Big Boss here. What's going on with that? Big Boss, 40 centimeter. 41 centimeter. Huh, okay. Why isn't it heavier though? That's interesting. And it's got 12 guns rather than 8. That's all right. We'll still sink you. So, see these? These aren't airplanes. That's not good for them. <laughs> so, airplanes are what matter. So, anyway, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. We have Akagi. So, hmm. Akagi with her port side island. One of two carriers that have that. Beast. Absolute beast of a ship. So... Models, models okay. So it's not as detailed as the battleships, though. Maybe she just doesn't have that many features. So I don't know. I've never built a model of the Akagi. So looks pretty good, though. Let's check out Kaga. Here's, well, Kaga. Whoop! Flips over. I'll oh, see. This one's really detailed. Look at this one. Much, much better. So, and of course, Kaga with the little tiny island on this side, starboard side. Of course, she didn't make it past midway. She's got all these weird guns along the side, too. So, really interesting ship. So, hopefully we'll see her and sink her. Because that's a lot of flight deck to hit. <laughs> and then they got their two little sisters. Who aren't actually sister ships, even though they were built on the same hull, if I'm not mistaken. Soiru and Hiru. Um, that's a great model. That one's excellent. You guys did a really nice job on that. Look at all the detailing. Uh, that's really cool. Not so much on this one. This one's a little plain Jane, too, like the other one. Oh, actually, no. It's got quite a bit of detail down here. Very cool. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. So, hopefully we'll see them. And, of course, those are the four carriers that were sunk in midway, so we don't even get a chance to see them in any other game. Um, and, of course, here's our old friends, Shoei and Zooey. Um, oops. Shoei, yeah, and Zooey. And then this one, Tayo. Oh, I keep clicking on the wrong thing here. So we'll 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 see them again. And here's Tayo, um, single ship in a class. I always thought this ship looked great. So until you did this, and it was like, wait a minute, man, did you try and get under a bridge? <laughs> you couldn't quite clear it. So that's okay. Um, yeah. So hopefully we'll see her. She actually did have some time in the Pacific. Uh, unlike these guys, the Unryus, Unryu. Three of them. This one, famously, there's pictures of it sunk. Uh, still yet to be completed in, um, in, I don't know, if, I don't think it was in Tokyo Bay. No, it was in, um, uh, Kure, right? Or no, somewhere around there. They parked it down there somewhere and they got sunk. So, good pictures of it, so. But these won't show up for a long, long time, so we might not even have to worry about them. Let's see what else we got. Ryo, we know about you. We're familiar with Zuiho. I doubt there are any more Japanese light carriers. Here's Hio and her sister Junyo. I don't think there are any more Japanese light carriers. Nope, we got them all. And then back to the Murchies, which all have names now rather than designations M, 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 K, uh, M, F, K, M. There we go. <laughs> See, it's just like riding a bike. You remember MFM. So, yeah, MFM. So, um, but that's okay. We're we're familiar with all these guys. We got another tanker? We had two tankers last time. Looks like we still have two. One, two. Yep, two tankers. 
<laughs> and then we're back. All right, so that's enough for the uh, show. Oh, actually, let's go check out the airplanes here real quick. What we got? We got Buffalo's absolutely useless little plane. So uh, we will not be getting any of those. Well, actually, you can't pick your planes in this one. My local museum actually has one of the. No, I has the earlier one, the F. I thought that was the F-2A, the biplane one. So it's kind of interesting. But they're a lot smaller than you think they are. Oh, nice. Yep. We'll, we'll do some murdering with those. Absolutely. And the good old standby. These actually turned out to be surprisingly effective in the last game. So I will not poo-poo these planes if they give us any of them. Uh, like these guys as well. <laughs> so, uh, if, they're his, if they're being historically accurate, though, we won't have any of these for a little while. So, but, eh. I won't complain if they just magically show up. So. Yep, good old Wildcat. Oh no, this is a Hellcat. It's got the Wildcat picture. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's, is it different? So e They're so hard to tell apart. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so those would be good if we have those. Uh, Dauntless is good. At least they're not going to make us mess around with Vindicators. It'll be nice. Hell Divers. These will show up a little bit later. So, beefy plane. Looks like it doesn't look right, though. No, that looks like Devastator. Picture right there. I, don't know, I might be wrong. This is Devastator. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's... Uh, that's all right. Good job, boys. Uh, what else we got? Avengers. Sky Pirates. Wow. These are much later. You see what goes on these things? All kinds of little problems <laughs> that you can use to solve Japanese shipping. <laughs> so, I don't know. They don't show up till later. There's Kingfisher, of course. We got our good old ducks, cats, mariners, forts, havocs. Uh, we didn't actually use these that much. I think we only got a couple strikes in with them last time. Libertators. So, <clears throat> like usual, Mitchells. Um, Kitty Hawks. B-40s. Bowfighters. And Bowforts. Looking forward to using those guys. Walrus. <laughs> also known as Bait. <laughs> so, Sunderland, known as Radar Carrying Bait. <laughs> so, and then our Japanese planes. I don't know if we have any new ones. Uh, the only one that I saw there that was new was the Corsair Sky Pirate. Let's see, Oscar. So I got a couple different models of Zeros in here. Yeah, they're the land-based ones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, this is a copied German one. Um, I think these are all the same. <laughs> From the last time around. Uh, wrong picture here. Uh, this is a Judy, so these are very cool. They don't show up for a little bit, so we won't see them for later. Wrong picture here, though. So <laughs> something gives it away. <laughs> so, uh, that's okay. Oh, that that should be the right picture. Oh no, that's Kate. It's Kate. It's Kate, and this is a Jill. Ooh, haven't seen these before. So these would show up later in Carers or War. Uh... At which point in time they got absolutely murdered by proximity fuses. And it looks like these are all the same. Mavis, banana boats are back. Along with their Emilys, the thing that almost cost me the Enterprise. In the last one we have Nels, and of course we have the ugliest plane known to man. Um, moving on. Alright, looks like that's everything. Let's get out of here. <coughs> oh. I see the dudes like flying around there. All right, so here we go. Um, today's video is going to be short. We're going to do a little bit of checking things out here and then do a little bit of strategy. So now that you know everything that's in the game, you know how to set it up, let's go ahead and jump in here and uh, check out the... There's two campaigns, War in the Pacific. This is as the Americans or the Japanese, 8th December 1941. So if you do this one, you kind of have to do the Japanese Blitzkrieg across the Pacific. Um... I don't know how much of it you have to take. Probably all of it. <laughs> so, but then this one, War in the Pacific, played as Americans. If it's 25 February 1942, the Japanese are going to be pushed out all the way down to Guadalcanal, probably. Um, so they have 
almost all of this stuff, except for, like, um, well, maybe not Java. And maybe not... Well, they, they, they wouldn't have Corregidor yet. Um, well, let's screw it. Let's just play it. But this might be a very long game, if that's the case. Um, let's jump in here and see. All right, history, history, history. Attack on Pearl Harbor. Got it. Singapore Falls, East Indies. Did Singapore fall by February? I th yeah, I think it did. I don't know. It's been a while since I've read on that part of the war. So, it was close. Um, so, East Indies are gone. Java. Java's gone. Um, Borneo. Yeah, all of, man, looks like they got everything. So, Philippines struggle. Two to three more weeks. Yeah. So, good luck with that. Maybe we actually start with Tulagi, though. That'd be kind of interesting. Hold Port Moresby at all costs. Yeah, this is when the Australians started to really freak out about this stuff. And then our supply lines, um, which run from Pearl down to Australia. Truck, Japan's own Pearl Harbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, here's our rules. This is what I'm curious about. Oh, my God. Using Midway as a forward base, so we don't have Pearl Harbor. Um... Okay, yeah, actually Wolfpack mentioned that. So, uh, so using Midway as your fort base, Okinawa, Iwo Jima, Saipan, Guam, Peleliu, Manila. Uh, you mean like everything? I gotta take all the things? Rabal, Guadalcanal, Rabal. Guadalcanal, so island hopping's not an option here. So we can't skip things. You must maintain control of Fort Moresby and Milne. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. Custom rearming and mechanic costs. Minus 5 fuel and 25 supplies per ship that expended ammo or lost planes. Okay, I don't know what that means. Half of fuel and 10 supplies per lost plane. Oh, so this is... Oh, okay, so I get it. So you need, you need fuel and supplies in ports in order to actually rearm and refill. Got it. Okay, so 0.5 fuel and 10 supplies... Per lost plane, one fuel and ten supplies per replenished airfield plane. Okay. So that's if I rearm planes. Got it. So there's got to be a mechanic where you can refresh your your land-based planes or something. I don't know. We'll be able to arm if the location does not have enough resources. You can split your task groups and rearm individual ships. Okay. And reminiscent that airfields do not cost you resources or resources. Um, that's contrary to this right here, right? I don't know. Pause and unlimited camera during tactical encounters is disabled by deep pauses disabled. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, sea lanes are open at 200 ships sunk. So, sea lanes are open at 200. So, our first goal is to sink 200 ships. Uh, right off the bat. So we need to build a murder. Uh, we need to build a kilima jig and go out there and kill them at things. <laughs> yeah. If you have questions or a book to report. Sea lanes are open to 200. That's where, yeah, you, you double the amount that you get, if I'm not mistaken. So that's absolutely positive. We're going to make a beeline for that. That's going to be the most important thing. So we're just going to have to go be bloody in this game. So in the beginning. Um, okay. Let's check our rules. Uh, home ports receive 2,000, 4,500, 50. This is not very much. So we have one home port, which is Midway. So we don't get a lot of troops in this game at all. Fortunately, I don't think they do either. So they probably only have one port too. So man point starting 300 per week, 20 per friendly location, per port rank, per airfield rank. Man, I hope they don't get this. If they get that, then they're just going to be throwing stuff at us left and right. So, um, because they're going to have, they'll have so many ports, it's not even funny. Uh, 100% after rest and refair, sunk enemy yield, 1 to 6. So, you don't get that many points for sinking ships, that sucks. All ships base days, 3 days, free air ops, usual, okay, cool. Uh, everything else looks the same. Okie dokie. Oh my god, look at the If they get points for every one of these things that they got on here, that they're gonna be making hundreds of dollars a week. There's no way they get that much. 
Actually, I don't even know if it works that way anymore. You know what? After the last mod, I was thinking about it a little bit. They, Yeah, they don't have a point system on their side. So they just barf out missions. So, and if they have the ships in the inventory, they fill out the mission. Yeah. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, I think. So we got to start taking points away from them. And the best way to do that is to get up to 200 enemy ships sunk right off the bat. So here we are. It's 25 February 1942. Um, we have $300 dues to spend. Um, so Port Moresby's down here. Midway's the only place where I can actually create. Because I only have one level 5 airbase or level 5 seaport. It's the only place where I can actually create. Uh, so that sucks. And it looks like the Japanese have troops here. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, I got a couple different ideas here. Let's run them all by you, and then uh, we'll do kickoff here after we have a chance to discuss in the comments. Um, so my, my inclination is to go full naval attack and absolutely wipe out any surface group or any ships that we can spot. And so that means a two-carrier task group with um, 300 points. <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's see if everything's unlocked right off the bat. Let's no. Let's we don't need to click through the whole thing, dude. 120, 120, 120, 100. <laughs> we do have Wasp. All right, Essex isn't available till the end of the year. Okay, so they do have historical dates. In here that's good all right so yeah my inclination is to build a sister sarah slash yorktown or actually you could do lex and yorktown we could do classic task force lex and yorktown um set up what, what, how are we doing on planes what kind of planes we got we got wildcats okay we got wildcats that's good um <laughs> and then just go probe and just go attack shit <laughs> um Unfortunately, they're probably going to come after these. We might lose them. But not if we send carriers down there. <laughs> so, which we could do. Um, let's see. So that, that'd be a lot. Maybe we just send one carrier. Now, we, we, want, we want superiority. And so let's see if I can get an independence yet. Am I getting an independence? Oh, not you guys. You guys don't count. I don't think so. Oh man, not till 1943. Damn it. Okay, screw that. So we're gonna do classic 1942 here. Um, yeah. So because let's see how many troops do we have? We have 7,500 troops. How much do we have down here? 2,000. <clears throat> All right. So plan A would be to build a carrier. Um, build a carrier task group. Run it down. Uh, well, it wouldn't matter where we send it. We send it after whatever we could possibly find. So we do have planes down here. So we'd be using these guys as search planes. We'd have no, we have no bombers. So we should probably upgrade those. We do have bow fighters and bow forts here. We don't have anything here. Man, the airfield here sucks. <laughs> All right, so plan A, build a kilomajig, go kill things. Plan B, uh, actually beef up Port Moresby and Milne. So those are your two choices. Um, yeah, so down in the comments, let me know and make a case for why we should do that. If you have a plan C, plan C is good too. Um, so, and we got to scrape out a little bit of room for like submarine combat and things like that as well. So uh, if you have a budget in mind, let me know. Uh, if you have a preferred strategy in mind, let me know. I'm kind of tempted. Like, so my, now that I'm thinking about it, my out loud question is, if I lose one of these, do I lose the game? Or does it just mean I have to take them back eventually? All right? So, because that, that could change our strategy. We could completely ignore MacArthur and Australia. Since it's not on the map, they can't take it. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so... Just completely ignore him and do the full Nimitz strategy across the Central Pacific, um, you know. And if I did it that way, what I would do is I would 
preserve all my troops until I had about 15,000 of them, and we just landed as basically a blob. And so we just blob this, like, like we hit wake, and then, you know, go down here and hit this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then just absolutely make it so that, you know, we, we only have, like, one giant marine MAF, all right, that would run around and basically destroy... Japanese bases within a couple days, all right, like we did with Guadalcanal last time, because that actually works. If you get enough of an imbalance in terms of troops, it actually murders off their troops really fast. And so we could have a relatively bloodless Pacific campaign combat, or if we did something like that. So that would be like part A1, A2, all right, or, you know, plan B would be to do the MacArthur and come down here and fight all the battles down here in the Solomon Islands. Um, the only reason why I'm kind of reluctant to do that is because we don't have any ports down here. So at least Midway's close. And we can generate ships from here. He can probably generate ships from here. Um, and so, well, to be fair, that's probably just as far. So, but I'm not quite sure. If they could generate ships out of truck, that's really unfair and stupid. So, but um, what about Rabal? Is Rabal, Rabal is level 3? Ruck is a level five. He might be able to. He might be able to do him out of there. Uh, does he have any other level fives? Da, da, da. Yes. Maybe you can only generate ships out of your home port. I don't know. Cause what is it? In the other mod, yeah, your home port is. You have two home ports, and you can generate ships out of your home ports. So, if someone knows the answer to this, let me know. Uh, because that could change our strategy. But, um, oh. We got a couple dudes left here. We could go try and rescue them. <laughs> we have 15,000 troops there, man. We need to get them out of there. They're doomed. 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 <sighs> okay. That's, that's good to know as well. How about anything else? Do we have troops anywhere else? Do we have fights going on anywhere? All right. Unfortunately, that one might be on dugout Doug down there. Yeah. All right. Um, fifteen thousand dudes, fifteen thousand supplies. Well, they'll hold out for yeah, probably a month or so. <clears throat> but if this is fifteen thousand, it means the Japanese have a good forty thousand there, or twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand. Um, yeah, probably about thirty thousand. And if well, we'll chew through him a little bit, force him to kind of reinforce that a little bit. <laughs> mm. That might be a good idea, too. So, all right. So there we go. Plan A, build a kilomajig, do the Central Pacific strategy. Plan B, uh, do the MacArthur, save Port Moresby, fight the Solomon Islands. Plan C, try and get a rescue mission out to Manila. So right now, that one is probably off the, back, off the docket. But, hey, I need to generate ideas, guys. What do we got? And then uh, when we get ready to actually spool this up here... Um, Later this week, uh, hoping to get a little bit of um, Silent Hunter 4 in on <coughs> Wednesday, but um, man, that game is it. Oof, you t like I had a tough time getting this one run today. That one has rando crashes in it now that are really annoying, and I'm not sure if it's the game, if it's Steam, or if it's OBS. But man, um, I've tried to record two episodes with that now, and just to have it crash about 10 minutes into it. Um, so we're gonna have to see exactly. Maybe I can get that stabilized or something but or maybe just get lucky but that'll be the plan but in the meantime comments questions concerns strategy tips remember our three plans a b and c um let's vote on those in some way so let's get some debate going down there in the comments and see what we can actually stitch together because i'm kind of excited about this one now this is a really cool mod um it might be a very long series so but i'm not quite sure yet so the last one <laughs> I mean, the last one wasn't too bad. Uh, it was, what, 35, 36 episodes? So I'm thinking this one might be a good run to get us all the way through to Task Force Admiral. So whenever that might be, 2023. <laughs> so we'll play here for a bit on this one because this one looks pretty sweet and we're going to have to give it a shot. So uh, it's good to see you all again. Thanks for all the comments. <clears throat> um, excuse me, uh, concerns and uh, messages of support while I was out there for a little bit. Um, I did have a great vacation. It was a lot of fun. I got to see the ocean again. Quite a bit of it for a little bit of time there, which is always fun too. Uh, but I would, I, 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 the, the back half 
<laughs> and the return trip was not so fun. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I won't go into detail about that. But at the same point in time, uh, it was just, it was, it was good to take a little break. But now I'm excited about this game. And so it's good to see you all back here. And uh, we'll fire this up here real soon. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And here we go. Take care now. Bye. Bye.